So what is the difference between static and dynamic IP addresses? Before breaking down the differences, let's get into what each IP address is. A static IP address is an IP address that does not change over time. It's a permanent address associated with a device or service that is connected to the internet or a local network. A static IP address can be used for tasks such as hosting web pages, configuring a home network, running applications that require a constant connection. Printers are a very good example of that. Whereas a dynamic IP address is an IP address that changes each time your device connects to the internet. Yes, there's some timing and timeout issues, but go with me on this. This type of IP address is very common with home internet connections as it allows for more efficient use of the limited number of IP addresses available. Again, we're talking about IPv4, not IPv6. When you connect to the internet, your dynamic IP address is assigned to you by your internet service provider using a technology called DHCP. We're not getting into that right now. Dynamic IP addresses are beneficial because they allow for more users to access the same network without being assigned the same IP address because it keeps track. What's the difference between a static IP address and a dynamic IP address? The static is fixed. It's assigned to a computer or other devices, in this case by an internet service provider, ISP. It does not change and is used to provide the same address every time a device that connects to the internet. A dynamic IP address is an address that's assigned uh, to the device by, again, the ISP, using the HCP, when it connects to the internet. It changes each time, or can change each time the device connects, so the address could be different each time. If you have any questions, think about it. Make sure it's in the form of a question. It's kind of like Jeopardy. And then leave them in the comments below, so you can then check our other videos that are answering commonly asked questions. But nothing about giraffes yet. I don't know why. We just haven't had anyone ask a question about a giraffe. You could be the first. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to our channel, especially if you're too shy to ask questions about giraffes, but you have them to see if somebody else asks, and then hit the bell icon to be notified when we post our new videos, because one of them might be about a giraffe.